What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing the recap of the last war for 2.0. It was a random matchup against uh, the lost. Um, uh, uh, very good clan. Very, very good clan. Um, you know, they, uh, they ended up coming away with the victory. It was <laughs> very close though. You're going to kind of see how this played out. 73-71. So, uh, when you kind of break this down and what happened, and I'm really trying to look into uh, kind of the technicalities of, of where we're, we're coming short. Um, this one, this one, there wasn't a lot we could do. We had a great, great war. Um, we cleared those nines super quickly. Um, <clears throat> we'll just hop over and see our side here. So uh, they ended up clearing the board. However, uh, had to use six bully attacks, I believe it was. There's one, two, uh, three, they're number one. I didn't get hit the whole freaking war. <laughs> the whole war, I was I was on hit to the last like five minutes and they, <laughs> number one dropped down and cleaned me up. <laughs> so disheartening. And I will say, I will say, I almost want to show my, def this, this attack. Um, I'm not going to say he almost failed, but he brought a mass witch attack, and uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I think a DGB took out like eight wizards and six or seven witches all at the same time, and he only had his warden and his queen left up to finish off the rest of the base at the end, so I thought that was pretty Pretty impressive for a Town Hall 9 defense against a max Town Hall 11. Um, sorry, I guess we'll keep going here. So that was what, 3, 4, um, 5, 6. So, um, you know, we had the two. The Town Hall 11s were even. We each had two. Um, they had uh, five Town Hall 10s, and we only had three. Uh, on top of it, uh, South, Dirty, and Mal. And South has max heroes now. Um, still working on, you know, I'd say he's a mid, mid Town Hall 10 getting there. Uh, Dirty and Mal are still very new. Dirty's Queen's getting up there. I think Dirty's got like a level 28 Queen, or sorry, 38 Queen. Um, King's still, I think, 30 or 31. Uh, and Mal, I think, only has a 32 Queen. 30, um, you know, and both of them have very few. I don't think Mal has any town hall 10 defenses uh including still like a, a low level archer tower that he's working on um so anyhow brand new compared to their side where um they definitely had a bit of advantage you know t1's fairly in that kind of same boat as di you know as queen's starting to get up there i believe um but you know you start getting up here i think jojo's about mid and then uh, we got Max Heroes going up all the way to their 11s, so, or pretty much, um, anyhow. So it was tough, right? It's, it's really, really difficult uh, when there's a, quite a hero, quite the hero advantage at that, uh, that level of play. Um, we did have a slight advantage down at the bottom for the nines, but uh, like I said, we, we cleared the nines with no bullies, gave our, gave our tens as many shots as they could, but, you know, level 30 heroes, it's just... Just very, very difficult to get the triples on uh, on those uh, even mid range, you know, level three Inferno Tower still uh, Town Hall tens. Anyhow, enough about that. Tough war. Uh, we were extremely happy with how we how we performed, though. No, no question about that. Look at that, right? Mofo, just a beast. Mixa getting in there, right? I think you know, Mixa came very close. Um, we probably could easily have that one, but that would have left Mal, DI, or South, and South had a 90% on this, right? So again, even, uh, I don't know what the percentage, let's actually check that out, 96 to 95. It's hard to say it would change if we theoretically got the three star on this base, but whatever, um, even still. Uh, we did our best and uh, we were very, uh, very happy with our results. So let's get, check out some of these awesome replays and I'm gonna call it a night because I'm really tired, it's getting pretty late here. Um, so I'm just gonna rip through some of these. What do I wanna start with here? Oh yes, A. Man, I get home from work today, I just wanted a cold beer and realized I had none. So there was that very manly moment. 
where the only thing I could dig up was some wine. Not that I don't like wine, but it's just not the same as a cold beer after work. So, almost every recap, I mentioned something about dead zones because they're uh, I find they get really misused. I think this is a good example. Maybe not necessarily misused. It might not be the best word, but uh, when PB did his video on this not too long ago, um, there's a few things that I kind of agreed and a few things that I sort of disagreed with them. Um, I don't believe all in all they're 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 not good. Like that that's not like a sum up. I just feel so weird that the king beat. I'm gonna just mention that. Oh, I guess he was probably beating on uh, CC troops. Anyways. Uh, I don't think they're, I, I, I just think they get misused, right? I don't think they're completely useless, if that makes sense. Um, this is a good example, one uh, actually similar uh, to what BB was talking about. It just creates these alleyways, right? Like the kill squad is just marked down this side. There's a few kind of buildings in here which lead the king astray a bit. Um, so, because it's not a real dead zone. Um but the rest of the units still just travel all the way down. They're just going to go in a horseshoe and just wrap around the space and look at all these little compartments just packed with defenses because he's used this huge, huge, exaggerated dead zone in the middle. Uh, and it's just not necessary. So, boom, Lava Hound in. Let's take out all this crap. Lava Hound in. Let's take out this crap. Like, these air defenses are not, like, look how this air defense is right now. Like, it's got three other buildings around it. Um, you know, six balloons would get on top of that in seconds with the hound tanking for like no time at all. Probably didn't even need two hounds on this. Um, but yeah, just picked it apart, just a horseshoe. Just walked around, had a plan for kind of each little section. Um, the CC troops ended up fucking up his king. Uh, but you'll notice where his jump placement was, it did not connect this core. It just connected this so he could just keep going in a little freaking horseshoe all the way around this dead zone, clean it up, and you're done. So, like I said, uh, the only reason I said I didn't really agree, I felt like PB was saying they're completely useless. I just think they're misused. It, it maybe maybe it's just the wording, uh, but that was the vibe I got. Um, what I would suggest, if you're looking to build dead zones in your base, start small, because um, at the very least you need a neutral zone in your base to set up a proper double giant bomb, right? So use that neutral zone maybe to kind of create one of the short sides of your double giant bombs. It doesn't have to be a big compartment. It does not have to be an exaggerated like half of your base split down the middle kind of thing. Just pick a compartment and try and use it to your advantage in the base. Kind of maybe think of forcing some pathing in a certain situation. Um, start small. That's all I can say. Those huge exaggerated uh, dead zones and open alleyway bases. I don't know. I just think, I think it's too much. Um, what is next? I said I was going to burn through this and I go off on a rant about dead zones. <laughs> Chad Fowler. <laughs> I love, so when I'm going through replays, what I want to pick, I always try and be sort of diverse with what I show. Uh, I don't like showing six queen charge gobos, even though it's such a popular attack. So I'll pick a couple of the more popular attacks that, you know, you'll see 50% of the attacks in the war were that. And then the rest are kind of these scattered other styles of attacks chad decides to just bring this like quad lalo suicide hero strat with the zap quake i thought it was a really really kind of neat idea here sends the suicide in take care of that cc take care of that queen just kill it kind of kill off that one chamber of stuff uh works out perfectly zap quakes the air defense there he's left with these three air d which are kind of very close together uh so i believe this is why he decided to go with this little quad lalo because um, it's just like bing, 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 just kind of very, I don't know. They're not, I shouldn't say close together, but uh, you guys know what I mean. Just all in a row here, just kind of one, two, and three. He can just send in stuff and get good tanking as he drops balloons in on everything. Rages are down. Uh, second hound is now popped. I think he's got two hounds yet, one hound on each of those air defense. Just got to work everything into this stuff. Boom. One more air defense to go, and there's a bazillion balloons about to be right on top. Perfect timing on the popping of that of that last hound. Just beautiful raid, Fala. Love it. Clean up time. Look at all the pups. That's what you get. Freaking hound jerking it in the corner. 
gonna be my new line. All right, treat stars in the bag for Chad Fowler. What's next? 11, skip. Skip had a six pack this war, I think. A few guys had six packs, actually. R9 really just murdered this war. Um, that, was, that was definitely our advantage there. Uh, it's just unfortunate that, uh, you know, they, they, they reserved their attacks as they should have. Um, and use their advantage to the to get the win as they should have. So uh, obviously no uh, no fault of the loss whatsoever about the little bit of a mismatch up top. But um, yeah, you know they came with the victory. But I really believe we absolutely dominated on the nines here. Um, this little walk skip does is really neat. Uh, someone was asking me in a while back. I don't remember who it was, but how do you do a queen walk over hope? Skip, this is like textbook. Like, he walks from 12, uh, I believe, all the way down to about this uh, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock spot. Uh, and then sends everything in at this queen. Uh, takes out basically this whole chunk and then just has this one compartment to deal with with the 17 hogs. Just awesome. So the queen's in there. And look at, like, just the queen. It's, uh, it's so hectic right now. The rage had to go down. It's got to use the ability. Like, there's just so much stuff targeting this queen. But she finally pulls through, takes out the can. She's going to continue to walk around this corner. Everything's just going to be fine and dandy. Fast forward this slightly. And he's about to close off his walk right now and jump right in at this queen. Cold blood of golems in. This funnel's already created. The town hall is there, so kind of is like, yeah. Hopefully, nothing walks there. But um, does he just jump right over this? Yeah, that's right. There goes that jump spell. Um, lets that golem in. Nice patience on the king, but he's in right behind that. And here comes a little bit of a valk parade. Everything's gonna go right in. The queen's gonna be in this chamber with the whiz tower. Um, oh, actually, she even jumps that wall there. Wow, that's four. Oh, nope. That is not four spaces, my bad. That's one more. So yeah, good read on that jump skip and good read on that queen jumping. She jumps it right in there and is dead. King is still at full health over there. Queen's taking a little bit of fire now because those healers swapped off of her, but it doesn't matter because she's going to stand back here, work on this wall, I believe, after this. Yep, there we go. So she stays alive, help do some cleanup later in the raid. And as uh, like I said, all those hogs in on that one compartment under that heel, even though the DGB goes off, it's single because uh, everything is just kind of... Everything floods in from the top. You just kind of fan out on the hogs and they just flood it in on that one compartment. The Tesla's last defense. And that, my friends, is how you queen walk Golo. Very nice job, Skip. An unbusted Golem. Queen is now back at full health. Sexy tree star, Skip. Very nice. Uh, so it was 10. Great one up. Jamie. Welcome back. I loved when I saw, I was about to click, I saw that, I didn't see this attack live. Um, I'm like, ooh, Jamie, three star. I was pretty sure she got a six pack in the family scrim and then maybe had one this, I don't remember, but. Uh, so when I clicked on it and I saw Stone Goho, I was like, yes, this is going in the recap. <laughs> you don't see many of these anymore and this is just old school and I love it you guys know I love these old school attacks and the fact that it's Jamie and she's back in 2.0 and I love it um, couldn't wait to show her in this recap and this is just textbook stone goho uh, poisons are down CC troops are dead that whole compartment is taken care of defense queen is down obviously uh, and th th this queen's just going to start mopping up there's even still some wizards there uh, and the hogs are in I love the patience here, Jamie. You send in a little bit of a suicide hog here. Expo is down. Air defense is down. See ya later. DGB. One hog. Love it. <laughs> Beautiful job there. Then sends in the rest. And I'm just going to kind of work in a clockwise motion up into this area. He's got the first heel there. He's going to drop the second heel down around that town hall section. Uh, good read on that because the double Tesla's there. Uh, hogs coming in from the 6 o'clock, backing things up. Just textbook stone go. I love it. Uh, 
heel goes down over this last little cluster of defenses, then really you just got that archer tower and that cannon up there to deal with. Uh, queen is about to jump in and take care of that defensive king in one sec. Bam. Oh, of course she gets caught on the wall. Look how far he was out there. But it doesn't matter. Got enough hogs there. The one bomb goes off, takes out another one hog only, and still has two hogs in the bag to, for that last cannon. That's the last defense remaining. Clean up wizards are on the outside. This is GG. Textbook Stone Go. Oh, I loved it, Jamie. And that is Tree Stars in the bag. Welcome back, Jamie. All right, what is next? Oh, we're now in TH10 Triple Town. So um, obviously these are Town Hall 11s on Town Hall 10s. However, they're still just awesome to watch. All of these, all three of these are just so really, really cool attacks, I thought. So this one reminded me of a Town Hall 9 base, but like a Town Hall 10 version of it. I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me the base I'm talking about. It is a form base. I'm not saying this base is a form base, but if you just think how I'm thinking, and it's a similar layout with the air defense and the air defense and the queen in between them like this, and a shattered Lalo from whatever side the queen's on is almost a three-star every time. Very similar idea here, but the Warden's in there. This is the Town Hall 11 bully version of it. I just thought it was really cool. Um, maybe some of you out there can tell me exactly the base I'm thinking of, but um, the, the interior isn't quite the same. It isn't the same at all, I should say. Uh, so please, I'm not saying this is a forum base, but the same idea is when the air defense are kind of right there, you break once, jump into the queen, and you're standing in between those two air defense, and they usually go down, and you just lalo the rest. Um, hopefully someone can, someone is, knows what I'm talking about, and I don't sound crazy. But anyhow, as you can see, Mix is now sending the air attack, two hounds in on the first, exactly, just a lalo, just straight lalo from this point. There, yeah, there's Inferno Tires, but that's why we got a free spell now. Just awesome, I should say now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm tired, leave me alone. <clears throat> and straight, just straight shatter level. Like, this is just the, the exact same attack, but a Town Hall 11 version of it. I love it. Rage is down, Inferno does not stand a chance. Boom, see you later. Tesla's about to go down. That Wiz Tower is the only major threat left on the board, and it is now down. GG to this base. Good job, Mixa. Nice little bully. I just, I don't know. I just, immediately when I saw that, I'm like, whoa, I've seen this attack before. But at Town Hall 9. <laughs> Tree stars in the bag. Next up, we got Mofo. He is just a monster. I'm so glad he went to 11. Just really doing a good job for us here. Um, he was talking to me a little bit before about how what what kind of preparation he goes through um I'm, I'm gonna do actually maybe i can get him on a live a live plan attack execute plan attack um anyhow mo was just telling me and taking me through how he prepares for most of these attacks and pretty intense man i it, it's gonna take me a while i know to to figure this out at town hall 10. never mind this town hall 11 just walking in and ripping stuff up like this like this walk gets huge value um i'm trying to remember the three or the two attacks here for mofo are kind of muffled in my mind from when i watched it but i'm pretty sure this walk kind of lets everything in here um sends in the golem and king with it no because he's got to get maybe it's down here man can't believe i forget this attack <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I swap some. Yeah, so there's a the golem. Yeah, golem and king right in here. Um, jump spell is down. Gonna let everything into this core, and king's gonna walk right in. Okay, that's it. So uh, notice the grand warden has not been dropped. I thought this was the cool part of this raid. Um, once that queen goes down, this queen's gonna kind of finish off, do a little bit of work, raise it up. See you later. Air defense is down. Goal is completed because that Arch Queen is down. If you get that Inferno Tower, it'd be a super big bonus. And he does. See you later. So here comes the uh, the air portion. And uh, 
coming in behind, I think, on the 9 o'clock? Yeah, there it is. Grand Warden set to air. I love this. I love this part of the attack. Because all these balloons clump up here. And then this Grand Warden standing behind it. This Inferno Tower it does not stand a chance. Freeze is going to go down. And then he has the Grand Warden as like a second freeze for his balloons. But it doesn't matter because one freeze was just enough. Still hasn't even burnt that ability. This is base is GG at this point. Mo just smashed it. I love it. Very nice attack. That was just like flawless. Flawless. Flawless victory. Fatality. It's tree stars in the bag. We got one more here. Definitely want to rip through this one. Um, you know, on this uh, almost max Town Hall 10, level 30 king. I think that's the only thing. Yeah, full walls, everything else. Crazy you have all these walls and only a level 30 king. I don't know. That's crazy. Um, like, you farm Dark Elixir so much faster than gold or elixir. Like, and that's like 275 walls times, I'm trying to remember how much that is, 4 million per wall for those, or 5, 4, 5, no, maybe I'm crazy, I think it's 4, anyhow, um, that's a lot of freaking gold elixir versus 10 king levels, but whatever, uh, we're going to watch Mofo just kind of do this walk. I like the giant helping out the queen there as well. Funnel's created completely. She's going to go nowhere but down. Minion starts the funnel on this side. Bunch of wall breakers in. Smash open that wall. No big deal. <clears throat> I believe closes this walk off around around here um, with the, the one golem and the king. Uh, I go, believe the Grand Warden also goes in with the ground attack here. We're about to find out. Rage goes down. Oh, from the, from behind. Just going to send it right into that town hall. Wow, look how close that queen was. <laughs> Just pulls it through with the queen. Finally pulls out that, uh, that Lava Hound. Second Rage goes down immediately, which I think was a great idea. Make sure that queen stays alive. Uh, Wizard goes in here, going to kind of help things out. Just wants to make sure that everything is A-OK -okay there. And boom, here comes that jump. Here comes that golem. Same sort of style as that other bully he did, where it was kind of like he used the queen to funnel off a bunch of buildings on the outside. And then drops a jump. And like the funnel's created for the king and everything. He wants to go into that, straight into that town hall. So exactly that's what, what happened. Uh, king's going to go in there, end up getting that inferno tower and all this crap in this little compartment. Air attack has already commenced. Same idea sort of as that last base. Um, three three Lava Hounds in, Freeze goes down for that Inferno. Boom, boom, boom. Just got to take out the Expo. And then Inferno Tower is the next target. And down it goes. Great haste placements here. That Tesla farm is giving him a little bit of trouble. King finally locks on, helps out that Inferno. Good, good timing on that Grand Warden ability. Gives that balloon, those balloons there a few more seconds to get over that Expo. I believe it doesn't quite finish it off. Never mind. So it's looking sort of a little shaky actually at this point because um, there's only that one balloon left. Uh, although his heroes are still in there doing work, that Grand Warden's helping out, but they are about to go down and those Teslas are still looking okay. So it's really going to be up to this queen under the healers, but that'll be no problem. Two point defense. She's going to smash through those. Got clean up on the 12 o'clock. No big deal. Queen pulls it through. Kind of lucky she got caught up on that wall, I guess, for that long. Uh, it just gave uh, the kill squad and the balloons chance to take out a bunch of defenses so she could walk in and do all the cleanup, get uh, healed up, and that is that. It's treat stars in the bag times two for MoFo. Nice job, man. Just, just so creative. Love watching your attacks, man. All right, I am falling asleep here, super tired, working like crazy. Uh, take my last sip of my manly wine here. And I'm going to call it a night. Tough Floss 2.0. You guys all know we freaking uh, rock that war. And as long as we keep doing that, uh, things are falling into place very, very quickly here. So uh, love you guys. Uh, and. Uh, I'm going to call it a night. So that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it bag that next tree start. Until then, I'm out.